all know bourbon is king when it comes to alcohol in Kentucky. The industry is a huge economic driver for the state, but in Louisville, it's hard not to notice craft breweries are becoming increasingly popular. Jim Stratman looked into both industries, ways they're different, and how they're more similar than you think. You don't have to look very hard to see the imprint that bourbon has on Kentucky. It's everywhere in downtown Louisville. Images built for the king. But just outside of the tourism center, there's a different industry, growing and quicker. Bourbon has a strong hold on Kentucky in terms of history and its place in Kentucky. It's the native spirit of Kentucky, but I, craft beer is just the same. Right? Katie Molk works at the Kentucky Guild of Brewers. We spoke inside a rye brewing, one of Louisville's latest local spots. It's been around pre-prohibition. Again, we talked about Kentucky calling being an indigenous style to Kentucky. All of the same things that they have, right? Uh, just two different cultures. Well, there's a tremendous crossover, really, between the distilled spirits industry, uh, and especially bourbon and beer. Jack Mazarak works with the Kentucky Great. Distillers Association. Uh, we don't see it as, as competition, we see it as, as a, a, a rising tide. There's interest across the spectrum and I think it's not mutually exclusive. Mazarak and the bourbon industry are speaking from a position of strength. The Distillers Association just released new data confirming that bourbon remains a $9 billion industry in the state producing nearly 3 million barrels a year, generating 500 million in exports, and bringing tourism to areas of Kentucky that may rarely see these kinds of visitors. We're seeing distilleries pop up in eastern Kentucky and western Kentucky. Some are, are a decade old at this point. There's an overall net positive effect on the economy and, and all the constituents in it. But beer has its own reasons to brag. Popularity in craft brewing is booming, and it has been for years. Right now, the industry has more than a $700 million economic impact on the Commonwealth. There are nearly 90 craft breweries in Kentucky, 36 in Louisville, employing more than 4,500 people. There's a number a lot of people will point to, uh, and that's in 2011, around that time, there were four breweries total in the Commonwealth. And then fast forward to 2023, we have over 60 breweries. The more I talk to the industry experts, the more it seemed like beer is on the same growth track as the bourbon industry. I took that question to Garrett County, owned Wilderness Trail Distillery and Dr. Pat Heist. My title is co-owner of Wilderness Trail Distillery as well as I'm a co-owner of Firm Solutions Incorporated. The latter supplies materials to breweries and distilleries like yeast. One thing about being a yeast supplier is the yeast gets the blame for every problem that a distillery or a brewery has. We have learned a lot about how whiskey is made and how beer is made. Dr. Pat, as he's lovingly called, says the process to make both beer and bourbon are actually intertwined. In the case of whiskey, we're actually, so we're starting with a beer, but then we're concentrating the alcohol out of it by using heat to remove the alcohol. Dr. Pat says that Kentucky is unique when it comes to its alcohol and that you just can't recreate Kentucky style bourbon or beer anywhere else in the world. What was the barometric pressure where you produce that product, it's gonna be different than if we made it three states away. Even if we use the same exact ingredients, if we're in a different geographic location. That is probably the biggest strength each industry has. A taste of state, the region, the city, even the neighborhood that they're in. It's just something you can't reproduce. People want something local. That's just it. Craft beer is inherently local. There are certain generations that are looking for authenticity, and we've, we've come to own that. They're in your neighborhood. They're small business owners. They're owner-operated more often than not. Uh, people want that. Locality, history, and an industry that doesn't look to be losing steam anytime soon. I mean, it's a brother-sister industry, really. Jim Stratman, WHAS 11, on your side.